Welcome back to our channel, where today we're diving into how Thailand outpaced China with a staggering $30 billion mega project. Buckle up as we unravel the strategies and innovations that led to this game-changing shift in Asian economic power. Let's get started. The Strait of Malacca, an approximately 550-mile waterway running between Malaysia's Malay Peninsula and Indonesian Sumatra Island, holds considerable geopolitical and economic importance. Serving as one of the busiest shipping lanes worldwide and one of the shortest sea routes between three of Asia's populous nations, India, China, and Indonesia, the strait serves a crucial purpose both economically and geopolitically. Every year, more than 80,000 ships, oil tankers, cargo vessels, and container ships transiting through the Strait of Malacca transport over 320 million tons of cargo. That equates to one quarter of global traded goods that range from oil and natural gas production, manufactured goods production, and raw material trading activities, underscoring Malacca's vital role in global commerce. The strait is especially essential to energy trade, as its primary route for East Asian oil imports, an estimated 80% of China's crude imports and 90% of Japan and South Korea's pass through. Any disruption such as piracy or geopolitical tension could significantly damage global energy security, which explains why international naval forces constantly patrol it. However, Malacca's strait significance goes beyond economic considerations. It serves an invaluable military purpose as well. Being located on an ideal pass between Indian and Pacific Oceans provides easy access for naval vessels navigating between regions as they move seamlessly, creating a focal point of regional security. Even with its immense significance, Malacca Strait presents many difficulties for navigation. At its shallowest point, it only dips 25 meters deep, and narrower still, it measures less than 2.8 kilometers across at its narrowest. These characteristics, combined with heavy traffic volumes, make navigating Malacca difficult, particularly for larger vessels, and increase collision risks or groundings. Thailand has proposed the Kra Isthmus Canal as a mega-project which seeks to cut through their southern region, skirting around Malacca Strait, which can become overloaded at certain times of year, and bottleneck with traffic congestion and bottlenecking. Reportedly backed with $30 billion investment, such a canal could radically change maritime trade dynamics by offering another waterway alternative in Southeast Asian maritime trade networks. Kra Isthmus Canal would offer great strategic benefit, Connecting Andaman Sea in Indian Ocean with South China Sea in Pacific Ocean via canal would serve as direct passage, shortening trade voyage by two to five days and potentially saving significant costs. One estimate suggests a 100,000-ton cargo ship could save up to $300,000 over its five-day voyage due to this change. Shipping companies would see time and cost savings, while Thailand saw increased revenues as cargo ships passing through the Strait of Malacca each year would generate revenues worth an estimated annual income of more than $3 billion from Kra Isthmus Canal alone an impressive sum that highlights how economic development across various sectors could benefit significantly from such infrastructure development projects in Thailand. However, Thailand could see additional economic and strategic gains by developing the Kra Isthmus Canal. Not only would the canal transform Thailand into a key player in global shipping, allowing considerable leverage and influence over maritime trade routes, with its falling under Thai jurisdiction, Thailand could ensure their trade and security interests were safeguarded and advanced further. However, the project does pose significant obstacles and challenges. Its construction would necessitate significant capital as well as advanced engineering expertise. Furthermore, long-term profitability of such an expansive undertaking depends on maintaining competitive pricing against current Strait of Malacca routes. All this considered, there's a compelling reason why you should continue watching the developments closely. The stakes are incredibly high, the outcomes are uncertain, and the journey to completion is certain to be a fascinating one filled with countless challenges, breakthroughs, and moments of profound significance. Building the Kra Isthmus Canal is an immense task fraught with complex issues and potential ramifications for Thailand. Given its magnitude and scope, there will likely be numerous hurdles encountered along its journey to completion. Initial investment costs pose a substantial barrier. An estimated $30 billion investment would be necessary to construct the canal in Thailand. Such a figure may prove prohibitively expensive when considering that return on investment could take decades to materialize. Once completed, Maintaining a canal would require significant ongoing expenses from dredging to traffic control costs and environmental conservation initiatives. These expenses could seriously limit profitability of any project undertaken. Furthermore, any pricing structure for navigation on this canal must not be set too high. Otherwise, most freighters might still opt for crossing Malacca Straits instead, thus postponing recovery of investments made. Geographic and environmental obstacles pose another significant barrier. The Kra Isthmus spans approximately 140 kilometers along its entire length and 40 kilometers across in width, boasting diverse terrain that varies greatly in mountains, forests, hills, plains, rivers, and other bodies of water. 
elements which create an intensive construction process requiring sophisticated engineering solutions and advanced technologies. Due to differences between water levels in the South China Sea and Andaman Sea, locks must be used to adjust levels for passing cargo ships, something Thailand currently lacks expertise with regarding the doing. Construction and operation of such lock systems also requires highly developed technical knowledge, which Thailand currently lacks. Timelines for projects present another difficulty. Building the canal could take over 10 years and thus increases risk exposure by subjecting it to global shipping trends, economic conditions and political dynamics, domestic politics dynamics, as well as potential environmental effects. Environmental sustainability must also be addressed. Building the canal could bring major environmental changes that threaten marine ecosystems, wildlife habitats, and may increase pollution levels significantly, complicating an already difficult project further and possibly leading to international criticism of it. Beyond technical and financial obstacles to building the Kra Isthmus Canal, there exist considerable political concerns and restrictions as well. One major challenge facing Thailand's canal project is political unrest within itself. Thailand has seen numerous political upheavals, from frequent changes of government and periods of military rule. Such instability may delay or stop progress on the canal project if political parties disagree on its importance or feasibility. To make any mega project like this successful requires strong and stable government with long-term commitments to it. Likewise, this project faces internal resistance. Fears are being expressed that profits generated from the canal could be siphoned off by ethnic groups in southern Thailand and used to fuel separatist sentiment among Malay Muslim population in southern Thailand. Furthermore, Thai authorities fear the canal would cut off southern provinces, further aggravating ethnic tensions or leading to violence or secession movements in Thailand's south. Another significant challenge resides on an international front. If the canal is successfully constructed, Thailand could become vulnerable to international power plays from international entities and governments, drawing inspiration from history when, for instance, the United States instigated regime change in Panama to gain control of their canal. External powers could exert their influence over Thailand, undermining national sovereignty and destabilizing regional relations. Building the canal could also have serious ramifications on Thailand's relations with its neighbors. It would likely affect national incomes of countries along the Strait of Malacca, such as Singapore, Malaysia, and Indonesia, thus sparking discontentment within these nations and straining Thailand's diplomatic relationships with them as a whole, leading to regional tension. Furthermore, due to its strategic location and global superpower's potential interest in controlling this new trade route, such as the US and China, becoming involved with Thailand geopolitically. Therefore, Thailand needs to strike a balance between economic benefits of canal expansion and regional and national stability when prioritizing decisions surrounding national and economic security and regional peace and stability. Kra Isthmus Canal's future may depend heavily on external partners. China could play an instrumental role in its feasibility and impact assessment. China relies heavily on the Strait of Malacca as an important route, shipping out 70% of the crude oil imports through this waterway. Unfortunately, due to decades of American influence over this waterway and China's energy import route becoming vulnerable. Therefore, diversifying their marine routes becomes crucial, making Kra Isthmus Canal an integral component in China's plan. China's extensive infrastructure development capabilities could prove useful to Thailand in this endeavor. China boasts a long track record in managing large infrastructure projects involving canal and lock construction. Their technical expertise could help the kingdom overcome some engineering hurdles associated with building its canal system. China could provide not only technical expertise and construction materials for Kra Isthmus Canal construction, but could also alleviate financial concerns through their Belt and Road Initiative BRI, an infrastructure investment plan across Asia, Africa, and Europe that invests in infrastructure development projects like Kra Isthmus Canal. Unfortunately, however, China's involvement could increase their influence over Thailand and surrounding region requiring careful navigation from all involved. China's participation could exacerbate geopolitical tensions. The United States and other powers may view China's involvement as another attempt at expanding their influence in Southeast Asia, potentially leading to conflicts of interests as well as straining relationships within Southeast Asian nations whose economies rely heavily on traffic through Malacca Strait. Furthermore, its involvement could harm Thailand's relations with Southeast Asian nations that benefit from Malacca traffic flow. This may include Thailand itself, which would benefit directly or indirectly. Notably, China's involvement could provide technical expertise and financial resources needed, yet also highlights the political complications inherent to such an endeavor. Careful diplomatic negotiations would need to occur so as to maximize benefits while mitigating potential conflicts that might arise as part of such an undertaking. Attaining all available opportunities and alternatives for this ambitious project. Due to its numerous risks and implications on geopolitics, Thailand could benefit from employing cutting-edge technologies and construction methodologies in order to manage its canal project mitigating some costs and difficulties associated with its creation. 
A good example is provided by Panama Canal expansion, which was successfully accomplished using modern building practices. However, due to internal and external political obstacles and potential impacts on international relations, its future rests upon key stakeholders' willingness to negotiate and compromise. Something Asian cooperation or partnerships with global superpowers such as China or United States could greatly aid in. Alternative solutions involve two primary pathways. One option would be to remain dependent on the Strait of Malacca while recognizing its limitations and risks. After all, this trade route has long served its function successfully and boasts established infrastructure as well as long-standing history of successful operation despite some challenges such as high traffic density or potential piracy issues. These could possibly be addressed with improved international cooperation or maritime security measures. As an alternative to building new sea routes, another alternative could include increasing investments in land and rail transport infrastructure across Thailand and Southeast Asia as a whole. Establishing an effective land-based transport network could potentially ease some of the strain placed upon shipping lanes, such as Malacca Strait, while simultaneously strengthening regional trade dynamics. However, these alternatives do not adequately address the strategic and geopolitical considerations surrounding the Kra Isthmus Canal project, with its potential to shift maritime power in Southeast Asia and give Thailand more clout in global trade as well as regional geopolitics. China-Thailand cooperation on building the Kra Isthmus Canal could have profound strategic ramifications that cannot be overestimated. While such an arrangement could benefit Thailand significantly while altering China's geopolitical standing in Southeast Asia, as well as changing power dynamics. China is currently one of the world's biggest energy consumers and imports a significant proportion of their crude oil through the Strait of Malacca. However, due to U.S. control of this sea route, it puts China's energy security at risk. Therefore, the Kra Isthmus Canal would provide direct and potentially more secure connections from Indian Ocean to Pacific. Therefore, it holds immense strategic value. China and Thailand would make an excellent team on this canal project, providing it is consistent with China's Belt and Road Initiative, which seeks to expand China's economic and strategic influence globally through infrastructure investment projects worldwide and construction initiatives worldwide. A partnership would strengthen China's position in Southeast Asia directly competing against U.S. influence over this part of Asia. China's increasing involvement and control over an important trade route could raise alarm among other regional powers as well as globally. For instance, countries like Japan and India might interpret China's actions as attempts at dominating sea lanes that connect different trade areas. This may result in tension or competition occurring throughout Southeast Asia. Additionally, nations located along the Strait of Malacca, such as Singapore, Malaysia, and Indonesia, could view this canal project with fear. Diversions away from trade could severely disrupt economies within these nations, as well as potentially create conflicts with Thailand and China. Shifting maritime trade may alter political alliances and relationships in the region to form new geopolitical landscapes in Southeast Asia. China's potential involvement in the Kra Isthmus Canal raises many questions regarding regional cooperation in Southeast Asia. If managed effectively, this project can serve to strengthen regional integration and mutual development, but if mismanaged, it could exacerbate rivalries and lead to even further division. Thanks for joining us in this fascinating journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insight into global power shifts. Until next time, stay curious.